we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot. Morning. Whew. Day two. It's pretty bright out. There was one hell of a rainstorm last night. There was a little bit of lightning when I was uh, getting up to here. I'm just at the extraordinary load pullout just outside of Fort Mac where there is no extraordinary loads. I'm the most extraordinary here. One tank. A little fire up, we'll get going here. We gotta drive through Fort Mac, out the other side. Past Tar Island. Past McKay. I was looking on the map and it's pretty much the same area as uh, Firebag, except for just at the last minute before you come into Firebag, you hang a left. That's where you go into Curl. I don't think I've ever been out there, but. Whatever, it's all the same. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent day. Like the sun is out. I'm sure my stacks are right full of water because it rained pretty. It woke me up like 5:30 this morning. It was just. Hold like, on. Is... And someone rolled up beside me and woke me up and did like a brake check or something. Probably one of you subscribers. They're like, oh look, there's the spot bot trying to sleep. Yeah, whatever. It's expected to happen around here. That's a busy area with bulkers. That's about it. Seen a couple wide loads on my way up. Nothing too big. It's a pretty quiet highway. Get out, thump the tires, check out some of the things, and uh, we'll get going. I can hear the water just a gurgling in there.
update of mine where people are doing COVID tests. We're out here, of course it's a pretty big uh, place. Of course everybody, when you have like a city worth of uh, workers, I'm sure they're all still just like, oh, we, gotta, we gotta test everybody just to make sure. I'm gonna be coming into contact with nobody. I'll have an escort from the security gate here and a site. And basically uh, move deck off, we'll move the one that's there and throw this one that I got in its place. Chain her all back down and then back to town. So basically, this one wasn't as bad. They don't just swab like right there. And they take a temperature test with like a Oh, it's like an infrared camera. 37.6. Good to go. Except for this priority one transport just comes and blocks me in here. I'm like, oh, I'll park off to the side so I don't block anybody in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Professional drivers, they are yippers. So I can't get out even if I want to unless this guy leaves and that guy leaves. But I should have just parked right there and been like... <laughs> Supposedly you can't feed your dogs here. So yeah, just wait. I got like another five minutes and I'll go in and get the exciting news that I don't have COVID. And uh, my escort's on his way, so then we'll be escorted and we'll get this done and get out of here. This is the first time I've ever been in this one. I've always gone to fire bag all the time, which is where you turn off and it turns to gravel. You just keep going. Which, when I was coming out here, it was, it's gotta be like, six or seven years ago, and it was gravel. That whole 63 kilometer stretch in from Highway 63 was gravel the whole way, and it was wide, it was for all the modules, so I guess they must be done building a fire bag, they don't have any more modules going in there, so they like shrunk up the road, paved it, which is awesome because it used to be like, everything out here is just filth. There's like this tacky clay mud, which every, you see every vehicle is just gross. All these guys that haul whatever they're hauling here in their gravel trucks and tank trucks are all just, it's literally brown clean windows, clean headlights, and that's it. It's just another area, kind of like Edson, where it's just wet, lots of gravel roads, and just gross. But anyways, we'll get back to her here soon.
money maker. It's where all the oil sand comes in and gets processed. The pit of cash. Test of patience. I think if you're not orientated and you have an escort. It's 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers an hour. Do you want me to do the math? Brutal. I'm like, well, probably the orientation probably only would have took like 40 minutes. Oh, we're at kilometer nine. Oh, well, safety first, right? Except for what I got. The one lonely guy behind me that other people were passing me on the way in. They didn't even have escorts. Just we got like about another 45 minutes there, bud. At idle. I wish I could idle. Huh, my heel's already on fire. Oh, now we got some. It's like you just gotta follow, or you can go by. Oh, it's lead core. Safety first as well. Well, I'll save you the bar here. Just gonna go back, security gig, a check out, material transfer sheet, and uh, get on my way. We we'll stop at uh, Port Port Mackay, get some A and W, get something to eat, get a coffee. And. Uh, Burn River. Hopefully, there was some wind. Hopefully, it's tail. I loves me a tail wind, especially when you got the tank on. When you got the tank on like that, it's like a scoop. It just scoops all that air. Which, if you have 550 horsepower, it's usually not a problem. But... I have pretzels in my teeth. 450 horsepower. Oh, the lineup's getting bigger. I need my Ice Road Trucker's Cruise Control.
got some man dub here. We're in Fort McKay. Mackay, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. I say McKay, but just across the street from Mammoth. And then back there in the corner, you can see some orange tanks. That's the ones we took out. How long ago was that? Oh yeah, just before we went to Jasper. It's good to see they're still standing, but anyways, okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. What a peg. Gonna hit her. <clears throat> Light colored side of the leaves are on this side of the trees, so that means only one thing, that's a headwind all the way home. We topped up the fuel because I'm going to be burning a lot of it. I'm not going very fast. <sighs> Hate that. But at least I had no wind and some tailwind. Uh, it's time for headwind all the way home. Hopefully it dies off. It's supposed to be uh, lots of rain coming in the forecast, so this is probably the start of it. Heavy winds, then we get the rain. They do.
Well, there you go. All done. All legally, too. Would have been even earlier. I think I could have shaved, like, probably, I don't know, probably an hour and 40 minutes if you didn't have to do 12 kilometers an hour for the 12 kilometers, you know. Sometimes we're up to almost, like, 20. So that was brutal. I lost, like, two hours there. Whatever, it's by the hour, as long as I can get home before I run out of hours, which I did, so that's good. And... So we did 640 kilometers from when I fueled up at Fort McKay. 489 liters. And it worked out to roughly about 1.3 liters. Per kilometer. Pulling this, this tank's probably about anywhere from 14 to 17,000 pounds. It's just like a parachute though. There was quite a bit there where I couldn't get over like 90 for like probably the first two hours and then it kind of died down a little bit and then I was doing like 105 and then when I get into where I could go faster the speed limit was down so I couldn't go faster. Then we had to take the long divide way home on Highway 2A from Edmonton because we're too high to go down Highway 2. So that's an extra 25 minutes, 20 minutes. But anyways, all done. We'll unload that in the morning and then we got uh, some C-ring panels we gotta take to Three Hills. And then while we're down the Three Hills, we'll take some from the yard and then when we're down there we gotta take some from, I'm thinking, the old location to the new location. So they can set up another pool. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. And it sounds like we got some plant work for Shell, which probably not gonna make video out of that because I know Shell would probably have a bird. Bird is the word. What are you talking about? Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! I will a bird, bird, bird. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we are. If we're kind of not right in the plan, which we probably will be. We'll find out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for Patreon support. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.
Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.